Hey there, it's Sandy and I am in the bathroom today. <laughs> I recently redecorated my bathroom and painted the walls. And then I went and found this fabulous shower curtain that matched my paint at Bed Bath & Beyond. Instead of adding a chair rail to the walls, I would add painted flowers that match the ones on the shower curtain. Isn't that cool? You can use your skills to decorate your home. But that is not the topic of this video. I am here to bring you two challenges for the month of July. And in both of those, there's something for everybody, no matter what medium you use and no matter what level of crafter you are. There is an opportunity for you to participate in both of these, and I encourage you to do so. The first one is a holiday challenge, and I know that makes people go crazy Christmas in July. I am not a Christmas card in July kind of person. But what I would like to do, since we had such success in collecting birthday cards in March, and I shared them in a big video, which I will link in the doobly-doo if you want to go see that one, such fabulous cards were sent in. I would like to do something similar with a twist. I would like you to send in a card front that is maybe what you're thinking of doing for this year's Christmas cards. Now, some people are going to do mass production cards. Some people are going to just do one-offs. Whatever you'd like to do, please feel free to do that. You don't have to commit to that. If you just send it in and you change your mind, that's totally fine. I know that the stamps and dies for this year are not out yet. And that's going to change everything when September and October get here and all those new releases are going to come out. So that's going to throw all caution to the wind when that happens. But I would like to put together a bunch of ideas for holiday cards for beginners to use, for more advanced people to use, for people who like to make mass production and make a whole bunch, 50 of one card versus people who want to just make 10 or 12 or even single cards. I want to have a category for maybe Christian themed cards or Hanukkah cards or perhaps winter solstice themes that don't have a holiday type of sentiment on them. I want to try to see if we can come up with a really broad selection of ideas that then people can apply their own stamps and dies to, whatever it is that they have. And in the video that I will produce, I want to go through each card and say, okay, this one is done in watercolor, but you might be able to do it in this other medium. Or this one was using this particular type of die. Maybe you could try it with something else. And then when I do my holiday types of videos during September and October, I might choose your card as a takeoff point to create something new and discuss how I'm gonna use some of those elements and ideas from your card and adapt them and make them different for my card. So that might help in thinking through some design things over the coming months as we start working on our holiday cards. So there's a PDF in the doobly-doo down below. So download that, it's got more instructions, it's got the address, send them in. I would recommend mailing it by July 31st so that it arrives in time. The post office has been ridiculously slow and I want to try to get this video done by maybe the middle to third week, fourth week of August. So give yourself some time to make sure that you make it in. But even if you end up in late, you still may end up being one of my holiday card video inspirations in the meantime anyway. Challenge number two, July is World Watercolor Month. It always is, and I'm always a World Watercolor Month ambassador. And if you're not a watercolorist, do not tune out yet, because I am challenging myself here on YouTube and all over my social media to share things all month long that are either in watercolor or are coloring water in another medium. So there's going to be plenty of content for everybody, so please don't run away. I challenge you to do the same. See if you can include a water element in anything that you make for the month. I think it'd be kind of fun. And throughout the month of July, there will be watercolor classes and water-related classes, my underwater classes especially, and my rainy day classes that will all be on sale. So you will be able to get classes at a discount throughout the month of July. And whatever the discount is, if it's a dollar off or $2 off, I'm gonna match that percentage off and donate it to the charity that World Watercolor Month is raising funds for this year. So we're gonna be doing some fundraising along with a whole bunch of art 
and I am super excited about that. So I'm going to leave my bathroom and head back to the studio. I hope you will do the same in your home, whatever you call your studio space. Go in there and make something beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. And I will see you again very soon. Peace out.